it's Sunday morning again I'm two days back from my well yeah two days back from my trip to Keswick I've been really tired since I got back Friday night I went to bed at 10 and I woke up at 8.30 the next morning which is unheard of and I've had a similar struggle last night really struggled to get up this morning I'm getting there slowly um, it shouldn't take it out of me like this and there's so many reasons I think a lot of it is age to do with like hormones and I'm slowing down and I don't want to be slowing down and my weight's too high and I don't do enough exercise all sorts of things so trying to look at that and address all of that um, I've been to Morrison's so I've, I've done my I've done my two weekend clean so I'm all done on that now it's a bank holiday Monday tomorrow so I could have gone in tomorrow as well I don't f I forgot about the bank holiday doesn't mean anything to me really um, so yeah so I've been to Morrison's this morning got a few things not very much in there I thought there would be quite a lot in there because it's a bank holiday and clearly a lot of people are away it's really quiet around here and I thought that there'd probably be less people shopping I don't even know if they're open tomorrow so I thought there'd be more on the counter but there wasn't anyway that's probably a good thing so what did I get I've got some Savers Natural Yogurt this was 35p down to 26p um, I've got some carrots here were 65p down to 17p just regular Morrison's carrots one full price thing I did buy was Savers Muesli I've noticed that their muesli is about 20p cheaper than Sainsbury so this was one, £1.68 and I'm kind of really into muesli at the moment muesli, yoghurt and some chopped banana so I thought I'd buy it another one of those that will go into the stores because I have a bag open at the moment the only other thing I bought were tomatoes these were 95p down to 48 and I bought three of them because there were loads there so that's it that is the sum total of my Sunday morning shop um, I'm making a very concerted effort to not buy bread products not buying cake biscuits anything like that unless it's like a seriously good discount but I didn't see any so unless it was like I don't know a packet of Hovis and they were down to 5p or something I'm doing my best to avoid all of that making some good um, sized holes in my freezer because I'm not filling it up with bagels and other things I still have some in the freezer so I'm going to work my way through what's there and then it's all gone um, but I've actually been quite quite good so what did I spend today today I spent three pounds fifty five and I had a basket bonus at Morrison's so I got another 250 points and it's rare because when you buy things on yellow stickers you don't get the points they don't like you buying the stuff cheap so you don't get the rewards for it but this was a basket bonus so I've got that and I think two pound fifty half that and that's what it's worth so uh, you know one pound twenty five big deal and you have to get to like five thousand points before you cash in anyway um, so yeah three pound fifty five and I'll put up there as usual how much I've saved on the shelf price by paying for that what else is happening well the weather is absolutely stunning here it was like it's like the day that I arrived in Keswick it's absolutely gorgeous and it's quite quiet here and I want to get out and do some garden stuff so I have some things here which need to be planted out now so I'm going to show you that I'm going to show you that now I'm going to go and get those I'll bring those through and then I'll show you what I plan to plant out today so the two things that I really want to get out today are my broad beans which now look like this and are well they climbed out the bottom of this quite a while ago so they need to go out desperately and the runner beans now I really love growing broad beans and runner beans they're really responsive they grow really well they're easy to grow and they look great they're lovely flowers and they these these varieties I've got here are good croppers so I should end up with a good stash of food to eat over the summer and hopefully I can put some of it in the freezer when when the beans mature the flowers are gorgeous 
on all of these things. I'm thinking of putting them in the big black um, planting box that I currently have my purple sprouting broccoli in, which I'm leaving at the moment because um, the cabbage white butterflies love laying their eggs on it and I'm not going to eat any more of those leaves now. And the flowers are still out and the flowers look absolutely beautiful. I'll show you a bit of that. So I think I'm going to do a bit of a mixture. I've got loads of bean poles and lots of string. So I'm thinking about putting the, all the beans into the black box together and letting them just kind of blend with each other. And then I'm also growing some sweet peas which are doing well but need a little bit more coming on before I put them out. And I'm thinking about putting them in amongst that so that I just get this whole heap of different coloured, different type flowers all coming through in one go. That black box is my deepest box. So in terms of roots, I've grown runner beans in that box before and they were absolutely fine. I still have the stunted broad beans that I planted early in the year and it clearly weren't going to do that well. They're short, but they have so many flowers on and I'm just happy with the flowers. I'm going to see what happens. Uh, they're in a much smaller box, so I don't know if they're going to come to fruition, but they look ever so pretty, so I'm just going to leave them as they are. That's all I can plant out at the moment, and I think I'm going to have to buy some more soil at some point. Um, because I don't think I'm going to have enough of other things that I need to plant out. My potatoes are going to have to go out soon, because um, they've spent they're sprouting and I think they're probably ready to go out now they're trying to produce roots as well and I also have a separate um, big planter for the tomatoes once they're ready to go out but I don't think I have enough earth so I need to have a look at what I've got out there I have some troughs that don't have anything planted in them that still have soil in them so I think I'm probably going to use that first and then reassess because I don't want to end up with a ton of soil left which has happened before that I end up not using. But I've been utilising lots of soil from empty empty um, plastic containers and moving everything around, just reusing stuff. So I'm hoping this is going to be a good year. I'm looking forward to getting these out. Um, it's half eleven now, so I'm going to get all this put away, do my spreadsheets, I've got to do my invoices for the cleaning companies, and then I'm probably going to have some lunch, and then I'm going to look at the garden and get on with that. I am right in the middle of editing all my car camping footage. There is tons of it, and I didn't think I'd recorded enough. And one of the things is that, much as I love doing the videos, I don't want to constantly be behind a camera. So when I go and do something like that, where it's a nice trip away, I'm not just there just to record stuff so that people can watch it on YouTube. I'm there for me, I'm there because I'm doing a history project, all that sort of thing. And if I spend the whole trip behind a camera, I don't get to enjoy it. So there was lots of that trip that I didn't record because it just ruins the trip for me otherwise. Even so, I have a lot of footage. Uh, it looks like, well, it is, th this trip is going to be have to be broken up into three parts because um, I think the first video is about half an hour, the second one is over an hour. And I'm, I'm only editing, I'm still only just finishing editing day one. So the second day is going to be the third part. So that will be coming up. I mean, this, I might put this out before I put that out. There's no, the chronological order is a bit weird now because I have videos still coming out um, that I, I backed up before I went away because I knew it was going to take me some days to get sorted. Um, so I've done rough edits for the first two videos, but I need to go back through, trim them down a bit more. I need to add any text, like information text. So there's still quite a lot to do. I reckon it's going to take me a couple more days. So I will try and get this out before that. So I think um, what I will probably do is later on today, I am going to hopefully get the camera outside and we'll do a little bit of the planting that I'm doing. You can see the glorious weather because by the time I've had lunch, that sun will be moving around in the afternoon. It will be absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to get all that sorted, do my spreadsheets, do my lunch, go and do that. And then that might be enough video to put out ASAP. So I hope you're having a good weekend. Uh, I hope the weather's good where you are. It's lovely here. It's just so nice. And it's quieter because a lot of people have gone away. So it's uh, perfect. Catch you soon.
morning I went out for a walk. I'm back into a weird sleep pattern again. So I'm waking up about six and then I'm pretty much falling asleep again straight away and waking up about half seven. So it's a bit random. But I finally, it takes me ages to wake up once I finally do wake up. So I woke up, I think about seven, and it took me about half an hour to wake up. And it was really quiet outside. It's Bank Holiday Monday today. So there are still a lot of people away and the ones that are left don't need to get up early this morning. So I thought, I'm going to go out for a walk because the sun is absolutely glorious. The temperature is going to be hot again today and it's going to climb every single day for the next week. Look at this weather report. It looks really exciting. I love it when the weather improves. And so I got up, I got dressed, I made my coffee and I took it out with me and I went for a walk for about half an hour. And it was nice. I mean, it was quieter than town normally is, but you could still hear traffic and stuff. It wasn't like being up in Keswick, which uh, if you watch that, you'll understand what I mean. They're coming soon. And on the way back, I, I went past um, Morrison's, so I nipped in. They're on normal opening hours. They don't worry about bank holidays. And when I was in yesterday, I couldn't get any potatoes. There were no potatoes on deal. So I thought I'd pop in and see if I can get any potatoes. Still no potatoes, but I did get some broccoli. I thought that uh, because it being Bank Holiday Monday and probably the footfall being down because a lot of people were still away that there'd be more veg on offer, but there wasn't really. So I got two of the broccolis. They were 79p down to 59p. That's good because although I have various kinds of veg in the fridge at the moment, I don't know if any like thing, something that's like really green. And I'm afraid the other thing I bought, which I probably shouldn't have done, Morrison's tea cakes, were £1.5, now 78p. I am cutting down on the types of things that I'm eating. I am watching how often I snack. So I, have, I am making incremental improvements. I've also downloaded another step counter because um, I need to monitor better what it is that I'm actually doing. So this isn't a money earning one, this is just a regular step counter. And my walk today I did just over 4,000 steps, which is far short of 10,000, but um, I have two requests on find a grave for my local cemetery, so I had the impetus to go and do either another walk later today if the weather holds or on any other day this next week because the weather's going to be lovely. So, uh, this morning I have to crack on with editing the final instalment of my car camping trip and then they can go up online. Um, I did do my planting yesterday. I decided to plant half the runner beans and half the I did two runner beans, two broad beans in the trough where the purple sprouting broccoli is. I couldn't fit any more in. And I read somewhere about staggering your planting. Don't put everything out at once. If there's a sudden frost, things will die. I think we're out of frost season now. But I just put in two of each. Uh, they look fine this morning. And then I think that, that broccoli is going to go off pretty quick and then I'll have more space. I do have other deep pots that I will probably put climbers in so the rest of the broad beans and the runner beans and I've got the sweet peas um, I actually do have more earth left than I thought so I've already filled up some of the pots so I can see how much earth I've got I also planted out the potatoes that have been chitting my supermarket potatoes so they're now out in their big trough thing that I found that basket thing that I found dumped earlier in the year, which uh, I did um, include in one of my other videos. So, they're now out, and now I'm just waiting for other things indoors to get big enough to put out. So, um, we're having a good start. It looks quite tidy out there. Um, I've got bluebells in one pot, which self-seeded, and the same with forget-me-nots. I've ended up with, I've got about four pots of uh, forget-me-nots now, which are just self-seeded. 
and my strawberries are already flowering. So it looks quite pretty out there despite the fact that it's pots on a piece of concrete. Um, it's my little, my little oasis and hopefully it'll be productive this year. I don't know what the weather's going to be doing but I hope we don't have hot spells when I'm away. Um, we just need enough rain to ensure that everything stays alive basically. So that's it I think. That's, that's my little few days back since I did my car camping trip and I've done a few bits and pieces. Mostly just been editing um, and I'm just tired of things. I'm a little bit tired of routine, but it's create. <clears throat> sorry, it's created a few ideas for videos for me to do. So, because I think they're things that other people probably struggle with quite a lot, your motivation and all that sort of thing. So, I've whacked a few of those together, and I've got a few more to do, which are quick and easy records and quick to edit because they don't have a lot of cuts. Um, so I hope you find those interesting as well and um, I'll speak to you soon so have a, I hope you're enjoying the weather wherever you are I hope you're having the kind of weather that um, that I'm having it's glorious here May is turning into a really beautiful month and I'm really pleased about that catch you soon